Hello, third graders, and welcome to a quick chapter one review test. Let's go ahead and jump right in, look at problem one. This is exactly what the test is going to look like, except the numbers are just going to be changed. That's one of the things that's really nice about this math curriculum, is that the review tests look exactly like the real thing. It's just the numbers are changed slightly and that sort of thing, but uh, it looks just like it. For number one, one A through one D, you're going to need to add up these numbers and just tell whether it is even or odd. So choose yes or no to tell whether the sum is even. So you're going to circle yes if it's even, and then you're going to bubble in no if the total is odd. Uh, sum means when you add up, is the sum is the answer to an addition problem. So that's kind of a math vocab word there. For number two, it says select the number sentences that show the commutative property of addition. Look closely, mark all that apply. Okay, so you're going to bubble in any one of these letters that shows the commutative property. What we talked about in class, the commutative property is where you can switch the numbers in an addition problem and the sum will remain the same. Okay, the commutative property can also be with the associative property. So if you see parentheses, the associative property, that doesn't mean that the commutative property is not there also. You can have the associative property and the commutative property both at work or both involved in one problem. So make sure that you look carefully, but definitely mark all that apply where you see the commutative property, Okay, where the numbers are switching and the answer is still the same. Look at number three. Select the numbers that round to 300 when rounded to the nearest hundred. Make sure you're paying attention. The hundreds place is the one that's the farthest uh, to the left here in these problems. Mark all that apply. Make sure that you're reading the instructions carefully. Uh, on the test, uh, it'll look just like this once again, but it may say round to 400 when rounded to the nearest hundred, and the numbers will be a little bit different. Uh, 238, for these rounding problems, we chose the number line method. If we're looking at 238, we ask ourselves what number is on the bottom and what number is going to be on the top. The number at the low point is going to be 200. The number at the high point is going to be 300. Then we asked ourselves what number is in the middle. From there, we said 238. Is that to the left of 250? or to the right of 250. If it's to the right of 250, the number gets rounded up to 300. If it's rounded to the left of 250, then it gets rounded down to 200. 238 is like right here. That's to the left of 250. So the final answer, this would be rounded to 200. And so you would not mark this bubble because this one does not round to 300. Look at number four here. There are 486 books in the classroom library. Complete the chart to show 486 rounded to the nearest 10. The same kind of rounding problem, except we're looking at the tens place. So if you see 486, and we're only worried about the tens place, that means you're only really focused on these two numbers here. You make your timeline. What number is going to be on the low side? What number is going to be on the high side? The low side is going to be 480. The high side is going to be 490. Okay. Then we ask ourselves what number is in the middle. It's 485. Is 486 to the right or to the left of 485? 486 is to the right of 485, so the final answer is going to be 490. So there's going to be four hundreds, nine tens, and zero ones when rounded to the nearest 10. Okay, 
looking at number five, write each number sentence in the box below the better estimate of the sum. All right, so here you're going to need to round these numbers up like we did in class. Oops. Okay. Uh, and for these, you're going to want to choose between 0, 25, 50, 75, or 100. Okay. 3, 93. Which one is it closest to? It's closest to the 100. So 393 goes up to 400. 225. Which one is that closest to? 25. 25. So this one stays the same. 625. So write each number sentence in the box. So you're going to put 393 plus 225 in here because this one rounds in the 600s. That's the better estimate. 625 is closer to 600, so this one would go here. What about this one? 352, 328. 52 is closer to 50. 28 is closer to 25. 675. 675 is closest to 700, so 700 be, would be the better estimate right here. So you take this number sentence, and you put it in here because the 700 would be the better bet. All right, I'm going to continue the, uh, the rest of the review on another video so this one doesn't get too long. So stay tuned for part two.